You just watched the final night of the Democratic National Convention live here on Wood TV 8. The energized crowds in Charlotte and all across the country were waiting for the main event. President Obama accepted his party's nomination and laid out his case for another term in the White House. 24 Hour News 8's political reporter Rick Albin has been watching and listening as this convention wrapped up tonight, Rick. It was all about energy. The president needs to get his base energized. And as he took to the stage the chant of four more years, the convention reached its most important moment. The chance for the president to talk not just to the delegates, but to moderates and independents in those swing states that will ultimately make the difference in this election. He said this is an election about a clear choice and has long-term implications. And he says it will not always be easy. Now, I won't pretend the path I'm offering is quick or easy. I never have. You didn't elect me to tell you what you wanted to hear. You elected me to tell you the truth. And the truth is, it will take more than a few years for us to solve challenges that have built up over decades. It'll require common effort and shared responsibility and the kind of bold, persistent experimentation that Franklin Roosevelt pursued during the only crisis worse than this one. And by the way, those of us who carry on his party's legacy should remember that not every problem can be remedied with another government program or dictate from Washington. But know this, America, our problems can be solved. Our challenges can be met. The path we offer may be harder, but it leads to a better place, and I'm asking you to choose that future. The president also talked about more manufacturing jobs, energy independence, better education, and you can bet you're going to hear a lot more about all of those things in the next eight-plus weeks, and, of course, we'll be there every step of the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. now it really gets ramped up. The debates start to happen, Absolutely. and then the, the election. Rick, we would be remiss if we didn't talk to, about the earlier speech tonight by former Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm. It was an impassioned... Uh, speech is creating a lot of buzz online. Here is a portion of that. America, we need to rev up our engines in your car and on your ballot. The D is for drive forward. The R is for reverse. In this election, we are driving forward, not back. Let's reelect. Uh, she, she was feeling it. Yeah, and, 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 definitely it's a little excited. bit of having to be there. You know, there's a lot of excitement. You go into a room like that, they are ready to go. They've had a little lack of enthusiasm maybe early on, but certainly Michelle Obama and Bill Clinton speaking and then getting ready for the president tonight. So she was there. Part of her job was to infuse a little excitement, and it looks like she did. And she also generated quite a bit of conversation all at the same time. Yeah. And she did talk a lot about the auto industry, and that's what she was talking about just prior to that and using that same analogy. But, you know, I covered her for 12 years. She was passionate. Never saw her quite that passionate. Yeah. But she I, was never, passionate. Yeah. I never saw that way, the yeah. salute. That's at right. the end, uh, that was new. All right. Thanks, Rick. Rick, thank you.